What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today is that time of the month. The July security patch for the Galaxy S22 Ultra is rolling out. And I tell you guys where it's rolling out, and we'll talk about some of those new features and updates that are coming with it in this video. Before I do, I wanna update you guys on a couple of key things. First thing, the July giveaway is now live. I actually was a little busy this month. I started teaching a class at the university for my day job and uh, I got a little behind, so we didn't launch it on the 1st of July. It is available now though, I'll drop the link below. We're giving away a flagship phone again, a couple hundred dollars in Amazon gift cards for second place and a hundred dollar gift card to Amazon for third place. It's gonna go till August 5th, so it still runs for a full 30 days. So if you wanna join that, check it out. It'll be in the description. The next thing, which I've talked about a couple of times and made a video about, if you're pre-ordering a Galaxy Z Fold 4 and you're 100% sure or you're almost sure you're gonna get one, I'm giving away free mystery boxes for the Z Fold 4 pre-orders, um, just to kind of give back to the community. It's gonna have a case in it. It's gonna have a cleaning kit in it. It's gonna have a phone stand for your Galaxy Z Fold 4. And for those of you who are doing the Z Flip 4, I'm gonna have an announcement about those pre-orders soon. So stay tuned if you're interested in any of those launch details. The link will blow for that as well. So let's talk about it today. Galaxy S22 Ultra July security patch is rolling out in certain countries. And uh, it seems like I just got the Galaxy S22 Ultra June security patch, and that's because I did just get it here in the US on my unlock model. In fact, as I mentioned in my last video, I just switched my white phone for a graphite version. This is the UAG Kevlar case. I got the graphite S22 Ultra. My new one got the June security patch as soon as I took it out of the box. But of course, in the US, we are not getting the July security patch right away. This is rolling out so far in India, also some places in Malaysia, and some places in Europe, I call up people from the UK, say they got it. Someone sent me this screenshot um, to let me know it was rolling out a couple days ago. So I figured I'd make a post about it and talk about the size, kind of what we can infer. Now, Samsung usually releases an official change log talking about everything that's in the update. We don't have that yet, but what we do have is some information right here. You can see that there are going to be app updates for certain Samsung apps, Galaxy Wearable. So if you have a Galaxy Watch 4, Watch 4 Classic, etc., cetera, pin up which is a very interesting update because that updates the S Pen basically. Some features of the S Pen gonna be included here. Samsung Internet's gonna get an update that usually happens with most One UI updates. Samsung Health, so if you track your steps and all that kind of stuff, also very useful if you use a Galaxy Watch as well. Smart Things, control your smart home. Samsung Members, which is where you can get all of your information about the beta. Remember the One UI 5.0 beta is coming this month. It's been confirmed by several sources it will be released the third week of July. So if you want to get the One UI 5.0 beta, make sure you have Samsung members on your phone. You're going to need the unlocked or the T-Mobile or Sprint version in the US, but make sure you have Samsung members because that's where the beta signup will be. Samsung Pay, which is now Samsung Wallet here in the US, perhaps in India, it's not Samsung Wallet yet. So maybe that's why it still says Samsung Pay there. Calculator, I don't think that's a very exciting update, but it's there. Smart Switch and Voice Recorder. So this update checks in at 531.02 megs here. I think this is the Indian version ending in AVF9. Um, so it's not as big of an update as it was for June. The June one was well over one and a half gigs when I got it. It was a huge update that changed some things with the camera, uh, changed some fluidity of the One UI operating system. It had an update for the launcher, of course, built in that really improved some fluidity. I talked about that before. So it seems like this one's mainly gonna be a security update going to fix some vulnerabilities and maybe update some of these core Samsung apps that you see here. So it seems like maybe we don't need to be in a big hurry to get this one. In June, I was in a super big hurry because I was like, this thing's going to really improve performance and camera performance. And I really, really want it. Uh, we'll have to see though. Obviously, I always monitor the forums and uh, I always love you guys' feedback. If you've gotten this update yet, if you live in India, Malaysia, you live in one of these European countries, let me know how it's performing. It's a shame. I don't think the U.S. version is going to get this for a long time. Uh, the U.S. version of the unlock model of the S22 Ultra has been lagging to like the third or fourth week of the month to get the security updates. So if you have a U.S. unlocked model, you probably are not going to get this until probably like July 24th through the 31st. If you've got a carrier model, Verizon's been getting it out pretty early, so maybe in the next week or so. T-Mobile's also been right around the unlocked model, so maybe towards the end of the month. But uh, Verizon, AT&T have been doing a pretty good job. It is really disappointing to me that we've been getting the updates so late on the US Unlocked because I also love making 
the early videos for you guys and I can't really do that as easily if I don't have the update myself. Anyway, let me know if you guys got this yet, if it's rolling out. I'm really excited for the One UI 5.0 beta as well. Tons of coverage coming of that this month. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. Check out those Z Fold 4 uh, mystery boxes if you're going to pre-order one of those phones. Stay tuned for more coverage, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.